I'm Shelly Turner with the Builderall team. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about SEO optimization and making sure that you're taking every step possible to rank your website on Google. So let's jump into the editor and let's look at the different places that we can affect SEO. So the first thing that we can do is we can set up some SEO on the actual layout. So I'm going to go to pages and here's the default layout. I'm going to click the arrow and then I'm going to go to layout settings. When I click layout settings, I've got the title of the layout, which is always SEO sensitive. So make sure you've got your keywords in there. Description is also SEO sensitive. So you want to make sure you've got your keywords in there. And then of course you've got a keyword area. So make sure you've got your keywords in there. Then you've got meta tags and meta tags can be used as being keyword sensitive to help you rank. And then of course the bottom area is where you can put your scripts so you can start tracking as people come into your website. So that's one place that you can affect SEO. Now let's take a look at page settings again and I'm going to go to default and click the arrow. And now I'm going to look specifically on the page. So I'm going to click the gear to look at the page settings. And on the page, I can again do the name, which is SEO sensitive, the address, which can be SEO sensitive. So put your keywords in there and the title, which can be SEO sensitive and description, which is SEO sensitive. And then of course you've got a keyword area, which is very, very important. All of those areas are keyword sensitive and you want to make sure you're paying attention to your keywords that you want to rank for for your website. The next area you want to focus on is making sure you've got at least one H1 header on your page. That's going to help you rank. If I right click on here and go to text, you'll see that this particular text is H1. So that satisfies the need for an H1 tag to be on your page. So that will help you rank on Google. And you want to make sure in this H1 header that you've actually got the keywords in that text. So make sure you're checking your keywords and that they're included in that text. The next thing you need to do is look at all of your images. Images will help you rank. So if my keyword was fruit shop, then I'm going to take every one of my images and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to title. And in the title, I'm going to make sure that I put fruit shop in the title. Then there's an alt image. This is what shows if for some reason the image doesn't load correctly. So if the image doesn't load correctly, I want it to show fruit shop. And then click confirm. So you need to go through every single image and do that. So this is an image, this is an image, this is an image. You need to keep going down. This is an image. All six of these are images. And then you've got another image right here. So make sure that all of the images you've optimized for SEO. And then the next option is once you've got all that set and you click save, because you want to make sure you're saving your changes. You've also got a tool in Builderall to help you to uh, do your SEO settings. So let's go ahead and take a look at that tool. It's called the SEO on page report tool. So I'm in the Builderall dashboard and I'm going to find my SEO on page report tool. So I'm going to go to apps and here's the SEO on page report tool. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to put my keywords in. So for this one, I'm going to type in fruit stand. And then I'm going to type in my URL or paste it in. I actually copied it from my site list. And remember, you can get that by right clicking on the name of your website inside your site list and choosing copy link. And then I'm going to click send. And what this does is it goes out and it looks at my website and it rates my website based on the SEO criteria. Because I just published this, it's probably not showing up correctly. So it's giving me an F grade because it can't find it. So for the example I'm using, I put in Builderall and then the URL is builderall.com. 
and it came up with some results. First of all, it ranked me as an A, and it told me the areas where I'm performing well and the areas that I'm performing weekly in. For example, the H1 tag says I have zero. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down here, and it tells me my critical factors. And when I take a look down here, it check marks the things that are looking good, but there are no check marks for the areas that I need to improve. So right here where it says avoid keyword stuffing in document, I can click read more, and it gives me information on how I can work better to get the check mark for that. If I keep scrolling down, here's some more areas that I need to improve. So appropriate keyword usage in H1 tag. If I click here, it gives me instructions on how to make that better. So this is a wonderful tool to use to look specifically at SEO on your page to be able to improve your page for search engine optimization. So now that we've finished our website, let's take a look and compare the original to the one that we made. So here's the original, and I'm gonna scroll down and we'll take a quick look. And now I'm gonna switch over to the new one that we made. So this is our new one, and if we scroll down and take a look, it looks very similar. We've actually improved a few little things, and it looks nice and clean. We've also got a functional anchor menu. We've got an email subscription form, and we've got a map located inside of our website. So that gives you a good idea of how to create a website from scratch. And I challenge you to keep building with BuilderAll. And I'll see you on your next BuilderAll video.